Hey guys, I'm Nick Walker and this is Dante Taylor. And this is season two, episode 25, Driver Spotlight. And guys, you know, I always end my podcast saying that, you know, we're looking for guys who's looking that we're looking for guys that's looking for a truck driving career versus a truck driving job. And today I have that guy here. And uh, I'm so excited to, to kind of explain what this guy's been through here at Boy, um, how he started, and where he is today. Uh, Dante Taylor, you heard it from here, better known as Tay Dunn. Tay Dunn. And there you go. That's 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 your short name. Uh, we usually refer to guys by the short name. It's just especially if they're unique. Um, and he has a unique one, and uh, and it's unique for a lot of purposes. I mean, unique because you know Tay Dunn is pretty easily said, and that you know, uh, guys when they do you a good job, they kind of develop their own lanes. You, you you know that truck, and then you you also know that your freight will be picked up. Uh, it'll be taken care of and delivered on time. So first of all, just want to say appreciate you for what you've done here at Boyd, Thank you. and uh, appreciate what you'll continue to do for us because you're, you're you're a super good guy, and we just appreciate you. But just to give you a little rundown of who you're talking to today, and the reason I'm so excited about this guy is, we you, I think he's the first guy that's been on the podcast that actually started at our Boyd Academy. Yep. Not only has he started at our board academy, he moved over into our company driver fleet. Yep. He did an awesome job for us for about six months, and then he transitioned into our LP fleet, lease purchase. Well, guess what? He spent three years in that lease purchase program, and Dante is in Birmingham today <laughs> because he is a true owner with Boyd Brothers. He owned his own truck now. If you're looking for a career, come to Boyd Brothers yes, because sir. that's what we offer here. Uh, we like guys to maximize their opportunity and – Tay Dunn, you, I mean, you're you're the perfect example of what I talk about when I say, you know, when I talk to the class each each Monday about maximizing your opportunity because there's a lot of opportunity here, and I just want to say congratulations to you. Appreciate you. Congratulations from the audience. I'm sure we have a lot of people clapping in the background. So, yeah, good job, Tay Dunn. Appreciate but, you. But, you know, just want to ask you a few things, you know, you know, while I got you here, uh, to kind of for other drivers to kind of understand you, what you got going on, and how you make these accomplishments. Accomplishments, man, because it's a, it is a big accomplishment for you. Accomplishment for you and your family, yes, sir. and uh, we definitely appreciate you. No problem, thank you. All right. So, what made you get into the trucking industry? I mean, what you know, and, and why did you choose to work for Boyd whenever you decided that trucking would be your career? Um, I was a barber for mm -hmm. nine years. Um, I got tired of standing behind a chair. Mm -hmm. I want to be out. I'm a. I tell my brother all the time, I, I need to move. I need to move. Mm -hmm. I can't stay still. My father used to call me busy body as a little kid. So uh, st sitting behind, standing behind a chair, it was good. Mm -hmm. I did it for nine years. And I had a client that came in, and he he had his little trucker uh, headset. headset on. Mm -hmm. And he was a Bears fan, so we obviously just snapped just like that. Mm -hmm. We connect just like that, and we just started talking. And he was, work he was a driver, and... Telling me his his life and everything, and I I went home and thought about it. Mm -hmm. Should I make a career change? And uh, best decision I made. Awesome, awesome. So how did you find Boyd? And now how did you find the Boyd Academy? Uh, started calling around. Mm -hmm. I, I went in. Uh, yeah, I started calling around first, and uh, I was getting turned down by a lot of people. Mm -hmm. And Boyd was the only one that said, "Yeah, awesome." So, yeah, awesome. That's 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 awesome. And uh, you know, guys, you know, there's a lot of guys that come through our Boyd Academy that's still here today. And uh, so that means this is a guy that come through, and we helped him get his CDL. Mm -hmm. And now that you had your CDL, you started as a company driver. Obviously, not knowing much about trucking, being a barber all of your life. Yep. What what made you want to go into the lease purchase program? That's that's kind of scary when you think yeah. about it as a you know yeah. as a new driver, yeah. uh, just kind of learning. Uh, spent six months on the road on my own. What made you want to go into the lease purchase program? I like to take chances, um, and if those chances have uh, some that are better my family, my mm -hmm. life, let's go. 
Awesome. Awesome, 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 awesome. How did we support you through that lease purchase program? How uh, did the, the company support you? Because obviously when you go into something like that and you're not really sure what's going on, yeah. you definitely need support. Yeah. I think we do a good job of supporting guys, but I don't know if we really, you know, kind of talk about what we do for guys a lot. So how did, how did Boyd support you and, through your lease? And I didn't know that also. when So when y'all did those things for me, it kind of hit me because yeah. out of – Came out of been down here to determine like my son's birthday tomorrow. I got I gotta be home for my son's birthday and y'all rent me a car. Yep. Yep. If your trucks broke down, so if as a lease purchase driver, obviously you're you're responsible for your breakdowns and all. For whatever reason your truck break down, what do Boyd offer? You down? Hey, can I I, I my son's birthday? I, I I need to see my son. Hey, okay, we can get you a rental. Yep. So, and then for guys that want to work, what 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 would they offer you? If for whatever reason your truck's down and you can't go, what would we offer you? Oh, uh, y'all give a loaner truck. There you go. And then if there's not a loaner yep. truck, well, we absolutely make sure of, there's some terminal work yep. that we'll provide yep. for you guys. So there is always an option for you to make sure that you're taking care of what yep. you want to take care of as boy. There isn't, and I tell guys this all the time, there isn't a way to fail in our lease purchase program. I mean, you have to try really mm -hmm. hard to fail. <laughs> if you fail in one of our lease purchase program, because you know, like I said, where you have a good support staff behind you mm -hmm. that's pushing you mm -hmm. to accomplish what you've accomplished today, man. And we want to see a lot of guys do that. That's why we wanted to spotlight you today mm -hmm. and kind of show guys that you know anything is possible. Mm -hmm. And uh, you, 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 you're a proven fact today, dude. So Appreciate you know, it. how does that feel, man? Knowing that you are uh, you are a owner of a truck now. In what, four years? I think you started in 2019? 2019, yep. Um, amazing. Uh, I feel amazing. I uh, I never had no car note. <laughs> this is the mm -hmm. first vehicle I ever had. Oh, man, that's awesome. Yep. That's awesome, dude. That 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 is awesome. So, that that got to be an awesome feeling, man. It is because and it's just a you know a testament to your dedication and uh you know and your hard work, man. Yeah. It because it's not an easy road. Nope. You know it's just and that's what guys need to understand. You know you you gonna go through trials and tributes. Yep. Yep. It's all about how you respond. Yep. And I tell people all the time, let's not have a bad day. Yep. Let's have a bad. May everybody have a bad moment, but not let it not transition a, yep. into a bad day. Mm. And if you live your life that way, you, you you'll be fine, yep. man. Um, and and things will be a lot easier. You'll be a lot healthier because you know a, you know stress free. Yep. And that's that's what it's about. Yep. So being around the terminal, uh, whenever you get down, I know you have your certain route. You kind of like to stay up north, but when yeah. you get here, how does the, the staff treat you, man? Oh, man. <laughs> amazing, mm -hmm. amazing. I uh, I always say that about. You know, I'm from up north, and when I come down here, up north, somebody yeah, they'll just walk past you. Yeah. Even even here at the terminal, you got Phil, you got everybody that probably don't even know me. Yeah. Hey, how you doing? Oh yeah. And it's feel it feel welcome. Okay, awesome. Yep. yep. Good, good deal. And that's that's what we want, man. Yeah. We just, you know, like I said, we advertise family, so that's what we actually want to be here. Yeah. Um, we talk about family all the time, like I said, and I just, you know, I, I, it'd be crazy not to advertise it when you hear it. It's like we really care about our drivers. It's not, mm -hmm. you know, it's not a show. It's not a game. No, we really care about our drivers. Yeah. If I see them sitting downstairs, I want to get to know you, know what you do, and know what you got going on because, you know. What you do, you work hard for me, yeah, yeah. and uh, which definitely appreciate it. Yeah. Well, before we end this podcast, because we're kind of running out of time now, uh, we always have a safety segment, kind of talk about safety. But I want to know, you know, since you've reached this point in your career, um, you did, don't see you, in, you know, don't see your morale in list to come see safety for coaching or you know just to you know kind of. You know, probably been here for a 60-day review. Yeah. But as far as just, you know, any uh, coaching to correct some of your actions, I haven't really seen you. And uh, so I know you take safety serious, but I want you to talk to the audience and all the other drivers. How do you prioritize safety when you're out on the road? It, it's your life. It's everybody else's life on that road. Uh, so as much as your family mean to you, it's someone on that road who family mean just as much, and you got you got you got you got a big semi truck, man. So I I sh I 
four years in, I still show respect to that truck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So safety is my my top priority because I want to go home to my kids, and I'm sure other drivers on the road want to go home to their kids also. So safety is real big to me. Yeah. Bit. Good, good deal. And I'm going to end it with that, guys. You heard it from Tay Dunn. Safety is a big part, part of his success here at Bart Brothers. Yeah. So you, you need to take it serious because just like he said, you know, that could be your family uh, in that vehicle um, that's in front of you. So, you know, prioritize safety and everything that you do, guys. Uh, we appreciate you for listening in. Um, if you want to hear this segment or uh, this podcast, you can catch us on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, any other of the social media sites you want to log that you're um, on or want to log into. And to all the drivers out there that's looking for a truck driver career and not a truck driver job, job go boy. Yes, sir.